Hey, you guys, Elizabeth Hefner. Um, welcome, Team Impact, to our kickoff. Of, well, actually, it's not our kickoff. Last week, the author led a call for our big team. So that was our kickoff. So exactly what to say by Phil M. Jones. And just being able to put communi good, good, solid, amazing, thoughtful communication habits into practice. So um, the first five sections, questions, whatever you want to call it, um, is kind of what we, what I was recommending that we look through first, take it in chunks, apply it in our IPA and our communication that we have constantly and, um, giving each other feedback on what's really working in different scenarios. So obviously some of this has come up with different calls that we've heard from corporate and other leaders about how, you know, I'm not sure if this is a good fit for you, but, or, um, are you open because people don't want to be closed minded. And I kind of like the open minded, you know, we've kind of heard it shortened as open, but I feel like open-minded is much more pointed, not rude. It's just more direct. It's more like, are you open-minded to hearing if, you know, Plexus could be a fit for you having some financial freedom in your life or additional stream of income or whatever? Are you open-minded to checking out how this could be an opportunity for you? So I think, because he, he says open-minded, open-minded, but I know from what we've heard on other calls, it's been shortened to open. So maybe it's generational. Maybe I like the open-minded, but maybe younger people like open. I don't know. And then um, I really liked, I liked a lot of this. Where's the one that I wanted to talk about? It was the one where somebody doesn't believe in what we have to offer, you know? Oh, the, the number three, I think. Um, quit a conversation that quickly becomes a debate because you're speaking with someone who thinks that they know best and perhaps even wishes to lecture you with their opinion. So I liked the examples, like what do you know about us, our business and the way we do things differently is so perfect for Plexus because we don't, this, the way the comp plan, the way the team, um, company is structured is unlike any other MLM out there. And then what do you know about everything that has changed since? So this is a great opening for, um, you know, people that haven't been ordering where we can bring up the, maybe the hunger control slim and balance. I mean, leaving it open-ended like this, like convention, the reset coming out, the comp plan enhancements, like depending on who you're talking to, but what do you know about everything that has changed since? And then letting them say, oh, I have no clue. I've deleted every email from Plexus and have totally quit looking in Team Impact, even though you've tagged me, right? Like it gives them an opportunity to say, I really have no idea. And then our comeback can be, are you open to hearing um, more about the reset? Are you open to hearing about the slim and balance combo? Like it gives you that option. Um, and I really like this kind of, um, I'm not going to read all of them to you because you should have read them, but <laughs> I like that principle when we talk to like people in our life, even beyond Plexus. So I feel like with my kids, like, and I do this, I do this already, but I liked the fine tuning that he offers. So like, you know, the kids are like, well, this, that, and the other, and they are just, are so certain and so sold on something. And it's like, okay, tell me more about how like what research did you tell me more about what you heard about butterflies that you learned that tell me more and that way we're allowing them to show the thought process and through other questioning you know if it's not if it's a flawed thought process right if it's just something that's not accurate then it gives us the opportunity through asking these questions just like when someone's like I don't do MLMs then we through questioning we can help um reveal truth too. So I really liked that, but I'm curious, you know, I have had some people definitely answer me by using this. Like one girl was just like, I am so overwhelmed, like not right now. 
I'm really having a struggle. And she didn't say a lot. Like she wasn't like, I'm financially struggling. I'm this, I'm this. And um, I, it's not the first time I've talked to her. So I just can tell like, this is not the time to keep whatever. And so it was like, I will definitely be praying for you. And is there anything I can do? And so, and I even took the eye out. I think I just said, we'll be praying for you. Is there anything that you need or something? I think that's what I said. And that way she can say like, like we're really struggling with groceries We're you know, whatever it is. And then maybe get more information. She hasn't, it's just a long story, but, (laughs) um, I will, it was an appropriate response for that person because it wasn't the first connection and just seeing other things that she's posted and responded with. Right. So anyway, has anybody been talking to people with some of these ideas and what responses are you getting? Cause we would love to hear. Yeah. So I, um, completely changed my reach outs um, by eliminating all the eyes in the reach outs. And I've been getting a lot more responses uh, with that. Uh, some of the things I've been saying, um, actually, let me just, maybe it'd be helpful to pull up one so I know. Um, just something really simple. Like here's, uh, I talked to, um, shoot. Sorry, you guys. Um, my brain's just a little fried today. <laughs> okay. So I reached out to one of my dear friends who actually just joined this week too. I said, Hey, so-and-so with the holidays and long winter months upon us, how has your energy and cravings been? Um, so it was just very, you know, direct. It was very simple. And she responded, you know, well, I'm eating everything in the house. <laughs> And I'm like, girl, it happens. This time of year is hard. There has been great research on a combo of products helping with weight loss, energy, and cravings. Would you be open, you know, to learning more about it? And, you know, she said, I'd be glad to. And then we set up a phone call and we got her started. So taking out the eyes, making it about her, just asking simple questions, offering that solution and uh, getting them on the phone. And that's really been helping me this week. Uh, and I, for me, it's about, you know, helping the people and I can't help them if they shut down immediately after my, you know, maybe not the best, you know, reach out. So fine tuning it a little bit is, has been really helpful for me. That is awesome. I heard that from a diamond a while ago, like, I don't know, it was on some IPA challenge or diamonds in December or something. And that has always helped have a lot of really, you know, more making it about them. And I have people sending me screenshots like, Hey, these are the conversations that I'm having, or this is what I was thinking of sending. And I'm, that has been something like take the eyes out. Like they don't care about, yes, they care about you. They're your friend, but they don't want to feel sold to. And I don't know the other, that's the other, like, that's his- the, um, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was sorry. I was going to say like, to me, it's always hard because my heart and my intention is always about them. So when I'm saying like, you know, oh, I've got these great products for you. I'm thinking like I'm offering them a solution, right? Like I'm thinking I'm being helpful. Um, So, you know, like to me, my messages are always about the other person, but then like when somebody else reads them, they're like, why are you pushing this out? Why are you, you know, like it's not right. Like, so by taking away the eyes, it has really made me think like, oh, I can see now where my previous message may have come across the wrong way um, because they didn't understand my intent behind it, where now I'm taking the, the eyes away and it's forcing me to think solely, you know, to think about them and to come across, you know, the way I want to come across. Absolutely. For sure. I think it, when we are like, Hey, I say this and that we sound like a mom, you know, and our kids as they get older are just like, "Mm -mm." you know, it's helping them draw their own conclusion. And honestly, I think we have more successful 
product users and business builders when are when they come to the conclusion themselves that I want to do this. This is good for me. I can see this being a good fit for my family versus someone joining to support us. Cause I think we've all had that too. Um, well, I don't want to let you down or I want to support you in this business. I had a girl who had 20 people join her to support her because she was excited and her team went fast start gold, like made a ton of money in like three months and her entire team fizzled out because they weren't really ordering for them. They were really ordering for her. And, you know, we had some work to do with fine tuning her, her social media and her reaching out and things like that and mindset. Um, but it totally like she had that much influence that people were like, I want to support you in this. I trust you. But they weren't really sold in on their own goals where, you know, for instance, not to make it about me, but I saw the products. I saw what was I saw the testimonies and I thought, gosh, that might really help me. Let me look into it more versus someone reaching out to me. And then when I saw the business, I really saw the business and was like, well, I can do that too. Versus, hey, do you want to go diamond over here? You know, I don't know. I don't know what I would have said. I mean, I, I was asked to share like, Hey, what do you want? You should share. You can go silver. You can get your products paid. I'm like, Oh, okay. Well, what do I have to do? Well, I don't have time for that right now. I need to finish this other thing first, but when I'm done, I did. And I did, but I didn't see that as being anything that was just like, well, sure. I'll get my products paid. I'm sure I can post a little bit and have a few people join. But it was when I saw the business that I just drew that own conclusion for myself. And we're going to have much more, like much more success with that. I just told the cross country team, we had awards bank, but I'm like, I told them this before, but I reminded them tonight. I said, borrow our belief, like until you believe in yourself, like borrow our belief. And I said, I wish I could instill all of these lessons and tenacity into you, but they would cheapen your journey. It would cheapen your journey. So really helping the cross country team realize that they can do great things in that sport or in their life, right? Then it, their, their success and their output is so much higher than just trying to perform for a coach or a team member or a parent or whatever you get the idea. So anybody else? I have a thought. It's just, it's not a specific example or anything like that, but I like that he says in this book and he said it last week. And when he talked to us in I almost said Hawaii in Mexico. Similarly, he said, like, take these examples or take these words and phrases and use them everywhere. So don't just use them when you're practicing your reach outs and your plexus talking, like talk to your kids, your spouse and use them kind of everywhere you can. And he said he would even like take one of the phrases and use it use that like for a whole week and anywhere that he could use it. So then you're practicing it so much that it just becomes how you speak to people. And then it's not going to feel like you have to like really think about everything that you say every time you say it, it'll just be how you speak and you'll be making it about other people. So I just thought that was good advice. Um, so that we're not just like reading this book and then trying to write and reach out. It'll become more natural as we practice it in all aspects of our lives. Absolutely. And it's, I mean, that is it. What did that question last week? Like, what did you leave out of the book? And he's like, I didn't leave anything out of the book. I was very intentional on making a short book. And I mean, I've read this, these five little sections like four times because I want to ingest them and make them into practice. And so I read and then reflect like, okay, I could use this in this situation. I could use this in this situation. Oh, I could have said this instead of this other thing over here. And this isn't, it's kind of like we talked about on Monday's call, like it's feedback, you know, like it's fine that we said, Hey, like, I love you so much. I want you to have this health and amazing business with me. Right. Like it's fine. Like people are not like block her, you know? Um, It's just, as you fine tune, you're, you're going to, be even more and more and more approachable. Um, so a girl from a makeup company reached out, total copy paste message, 
Elizabeth send copy message about gut health. I'm like, do you even look at my wall? Okay. But I was like, you know what? Thanks for reaching out. Um, I'm actually, you know, Plexus is the OG gut health company. So I'm all set there, but I do need a mascara when you have a Black Friday sale. So let me know what sales you have for mascara because one, I was going to reach back out to her and be like, I need this mascara. Um, but two, she did take the time to message me and I didn't have the heart to be like, ignore, blah, you know, like it's just rude, like <laughs> especially being in the industry. So I should probably finish reading the book and think about other ways that I could kind of talk to her. I'm probably going to be like, you know, you're in this business. Have you read this book? It might be really helpful for you. Are you open to some suggestions on your outreaches? I don't know. But then I'm like, why would I coach her? So I'm debating just happened like two days ago. But I think it's it's good too. He talked about, you know, people are um, a lot more willing to, what did he say? I want to get the words right. The real world tells us that people will work far harder to avoid a potential loss than they will to achieve a potential gain. So sometimes, I mean, sometimes we don't see ourselves necessarily winning, but like there's some people who are really competitive who might not want to see somebody else surpass them. So or they might not want to see their family struggling or something like that. So, you know, if you reach out, especially Christmas time, you're, I mean, money is really tight for people. And if you reach out to them and say, um, how is it going to feel when you're struggling to pay for your Christmas presents? What if you, can you imagine yourself having the money to be able to pay for your Christmas presents and give to someone else? you know so making sure you're asking those questions and not just hey what if I could give you you know what if you could earn five hundred dollars by Christmas time that doesn't necessarily reach out to them but if you put it into a real word term of could you see yourself having the money to buy your Christmas presents without putting them on your Christmas card and worrying about how to pay for them in January would you be open-minded at about talking about this. So I thought that was really good. And that's definitely a, a little tweak in reaching out to people. I think um, definitely using and using the just imagine part, you know, that's something because we kind of forget to dream sometime. Um, and I like the once upon a times once, once in a while, you know, I loved that part of the book where he said, like, if people can't see themselves do something, because we always envision ourselves doing something before we make a decision is what he was saying. So if people can't see themselves doing something, they're not going to do it. So I thought that that was, that's going to be a really powerful phrase to use for every part of our lives, for sure. But I think especially with, with Plexus, especially not even just with having people join, but maybe even with people that we're coaching, right? I mean- even coaching ourselves. I was thinking about a few things coaching myself and I was listening and I was like, mm, yeah, maybe I need to think about this a little bit more often. So I think that's pretty cool. It's that kind of that facts tell, stories tell, sell, you know, like that's why we want to post business and product testimonials too, not just you know, don't gain weight over the holidays. Here's how you can prevent it. You know, like it's fine to mix those in, but I think just I've recently like, okay, I gotta make sure I'm getting enough testimonies in here too, product testimonies and otherwise, but kind of re-looking at my Facebook, but it just truly is another way of, it's a more direct communication instead of hoping they might see a post, right? <laughs> like, but having that conversation with them privately and I always find those to be more successful anyway than any sort of posting. Yeah, for sure. Um, I was listening to something and they were talking about how a lot of it is just keeping the conversation going. So, of course, you know, initially as I was reading through this, I was thinking like, good ways to kind of like reach out to people but also 
as I was reflecting back on the book, how it's good to like sprinkle things throughout the conversation too. So as they're talking about some of their pain points, um, like how would it feel if you didn't have to deal with it, this anymore? Just imagine if, you know, your headaches or digestive issues were not in your life and, you, and like, what would your life look like for you? so that they can start imagining this future where they don't necessarily have to feel crummy and have to, you know, have that in their life so they can see value in, you know, finding some solution. And then you can kind of introduce your solution like, hey, I've had good success. Would you be open minded if I shared, you know, a little on how gut health might help you with that, too? So not something that you always have to lead with. I mean, it's definitely good stuff for that too. But also as we continue to talk to people and have conversations and keep things going, remembering the principles in the different ways to word things as well. That is really good, Melissa. And, I, and the other thing is I've witnessed you doing this in the hospital as an OT where you, where I'm like, you can't live in the bed. Time to get up. And Melissa's like, well, remember you told me that you have those two puppies at home and I know you really want to get home to your dog so you can walk them again. Oh yeah, I do. Okay. So you like sweet talk them into it. And then they're like, okay, yeah, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> so you do this already. You're already doing that. You're already painting this picture to a patient with all this stuff stuff sticking out of them that yeah they're going to be walking their dog again and it soon you're already painting that picture so um <laughs> applying it over here right applying it to our friends and and stuff is should be an easy switch right but i guess i'm just going to be like you can't live like this anymore get up you know you can't live like that just take the pro bio 5 so It is a quiet book club, y'all. I think that leads into the point, like I was going to make how, you, like how Jackie and you said, Lauren, with the, like the close to the end of chapter four, I think it was, um, about the um, emotions, making decisions based on emotions, and almost always people will make a decision based on emotion before they will based on facts. So using like the magic words, um, and making it about them versus how we want them to see it or how we feel I like that point too it's like just changing up um this is a, a reach out I had to somebody today and they had posted um on Facebook something about how people they had somebody who wrote them a letter saying it was crazy how many selfies they posted of themselves and they can't believe they're doing that blah 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 so I was like perfect this is somebody I want so I sent her a message I says I'm sorry. Um, or I says, um, noticing your post today about the selfies, you have such a positive presence on social media. In fact, could you, or excuse me, would you ever be open to using that to help others and make money too? So I'm like, man, let's, let's this person who's, who's got these negative things and these emotions tied up and fired up, Let's see how we can convert that into positivity and something productive. And I haven't heard back from her yet. She hasn't seen the message, but I'm like, in the past, that's not somebody I would have reached out to. But I'm like, man, if they're already up for posting and doing all this stuff and willing to um, move past some of those things, this is somebody who could turn this into something good. So, you know, reaching out on things that you might not have reached out on is something that you know, reading some of these things gave me some ideas to do some reach outs about that. Who knows, maybe they were just having a fired up day. And so maybe their entire demeanor is not negative, right? Like it just came out or, or they just need a community to support the personal growth in order to fix 
I'm out of words apparently at this point of the day, but fine tune their, their, um, output. There you go. Output. Did anybody read his other book, the magic words or look into it? I got to look into that one or get it on audible or something. No. Okay, guys, anyone else have some last words? I can definitely say that I've gotten a lot more responses and Jackie had a good one to send about the PV giveaway. What was it, Jackie? Can you share that? That was really good too. Hang on, let me find it because it's late and my brain is nearly dead. So, uh, hang on. Okay. Um, whoever their name is, can you see yourself winning a free pair of Uggs? Check out this link to learn how. And I clicked, um, I attached the link to our team page. And that does a couple of things. It has them click on that. And if they're already in our page, it will um, populate them to that. If they, for some reason, haven't accepted their invite and they do that, that accepts their invite. Um, if they aren't part of it or they have ignored it or whatever, um, then it'll say that they can't get to that page. So that's a great way to follow back up with them too. And then after that, I put, do you want to know more about the holiday specials? So it's just asking, you know, it's the dream part and action and asking a question. So it's three different things, um, that are definitely actionable steps and questions. So it's not just something that they just leave, hopefully. And I really think just saying, can you imagine earning a free pair of Uggs? Like just click here. At least people are going to click on it right. and see what their requirements are. Just like I get an email from Old Navy or something and I'm like free jeans. I'm going to be like, wait, what? You know, I'm at least going to look at it and then decide, do I want to do the work? Do I want to spend the money involved to whatever? So I think that is really genius. You'll have to like update the impact makers chat. Like I got like 500 people responding, right? Like, I don't know, whatever. Let, let us know um, too. And then if you guys too, I would say, cause it's weird. I think it's weird to talk about this in the team page because we don't want to be insensitive to the people that joined us where we're like, Hey, I use this verbiage and she signed up. Like we can't say that in the team page. Cause it just you, we can't take things out of context, number one. That's a big thing. Um, but because, let, I'm going to back up too, like we're on this call at 9.30 at night because we feel so strongly that we have something that's going to help people. I don't know the people that sell leggings. Like what the heck do they get hyped up about? Like it, it's fine. Maybe they do. Maybe they have good training or something. But, you know, even in therapy world, like, I'm looking at the top of what I can see and all of you are therapists. And it's like, what? we didn't go become therapists because we were like, I'm going to make a ton of money and da, 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 da. Like we went because we knew we could add value and help people. And so anyway, I know that your hearts are all committed to what is what we want other people to have health and financial freedom. And this is an amazing opportunity to do that. Blah, blah, blah. So that being said, if you're like, hey, I used this statement, I used this question and I had, you know, 10 out of 10 people talk back to me, like put it in the chat, give us the screenshots, give us the verbiage, maybe, maybe not a screenshot because we want to be sensitive to people's privacy, but type it back out for us and, and say, and let, let's do this together and share those. Um, and always like ask like we've talked about this before, like if you're not sure what your IPA is doing, like if you're not pot sure about the messages you're sending, then put some screenshots in your three-way chat so that we can help and give that feedback along the way. So last call. It is Thursday night. Last call. All right. Thank you guys for all getting on and chatting. I wasn't really expecting everyone to chat so much, but we really all had good takeaways and feedback. So I think that's good. Um, 
so I'm really looking forward to uh, really put, digging into this with our IPA and conversations in the work and other settings, family settings, and seeing the fruit that comes out of it.